Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab Imam Al-Hasan Al-Basri Rahimahullah Ta'ala said People say that the one who has been on Hajj is the one who is forgiven. He said, and the signs of this is that he leaves the evils he used to do. And this was collected by Ibn Abi Dunya in his treatise entitled At-Tawbah. Ayyul Ahbab, Tawbah ilallah Azza wa Jal coming back to him with sorrow and sincerity seeking for forgiveness from him, making istighfar and being determined not to return to that sin requires implementing that and that strong determination to leave what a person was previously engaged in. And this is why Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala when he said People say that the one who has been, been on Hajj is the one who is forgiven. Because a lot of times we say, we believe that the person who has made Hajj, that they are forgiven. But of course, Hajj, like any other act of ibadah and worship, has two conditions. The first condition, Ayyul Ahbab, is that a person does this act truly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sincerely to Allah, that the Hajj is performed as an act of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And the second condition, Ayyul Ahbab, is that the Hajj is performed in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if a person is sincere and they observe the rites that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did on Hajj, during the time that the Prophet ﷺ performed those rites uh, with the manners and adab that the Prophet ﷺ did, then bi'idnillah that person's hajj will be accepted and they will come from the hajj as if they are a newborn baby, forgiven from their sins. And likewise with any act of worship and uh, that an evidence or a sign that that act, especially like the fasting of the month of Ramadan or the Hajj as we just mentioned, that a sign that those actions, those great forms of worship are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that the person leaves off the sins that they used to perform before they did, before they fasted that holy month of Ramadan and before they performed the great pilgrimage to Mecca. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those with Tawbah to Nusuha, with the sincere Tawbah, strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying to come closer and please our Lord subhanahu. And may Allah forgive us all of our sins and raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.